going to the next case. So a 22 year old accountant come to our cl uh, clinic. His complaints is occasional blurred vision, tiredness of eyes while reading. And sometimes the patient is having blurred vision. Sometimes the patient is having very much tiredness of eyes while reading. So during reading, he, he feels very tired. Uncorrected visual acuity was 6, 6 minus in both eyes. Retinoscopy and acceptance was minus 0.25 diopters in the right eye. Okay. And left eye, it was 0.25 into 90. 0.25 cylinder into 90. So <clears throat> sometimes with this 0.25 power, we can give also. We Normally, we need not to give also. That is also okay. So all depends on the case. So when we checked his NPC, it was 7 centimeter. Okay. Cover test was ortho for distance. Uh, near it was two prism esophoria. Okay. Two prism esophoria. So the basin and base out value, basin value, uh, the basin for distance, it is X74. That is quite normal for the adults. Okay. Basin for near it is uh, X1310. So it is also quite okay. Base out for distance normality value. It is blur at uh, break at 7 and 4, blur and recovery at 4. See the base out for distance, it is much higher what is required. Okay. And base out for near is also higher. Base out for near normative value is X1914. Okay. So break at 19 and 14 and recovery at 14. So it is also uh, quite higher. So the base out values are higher. Right. AC by A ratio is 6.8 is to 1. Okay. So, will you give this minus 0.5 correction to the patient? What do you think? Just tell me that. Then we will come to the uh, conclusion later on. So, will you give this 0.25? I think no need, ma'am. Yes, no need. No Why? Need because, to... yes, correct. Why? Because there is a near, there is a two prism esophoria. So, however, minus if you're pushing, the patient's phoria part will be bad because ACY ratio is mm -hmm. quite high, 6.8 is to 1. So, 1 plus 1, 6.8 prism of esophoria will be uh, generated. So, already two prism is there. So, better not to give, uh, like for esophoria, minus lenses need not to give. Okay, NRA value is very low. If we come to the NRA value, it is plus 1.25. Normative value is plus 2.50. PRA value is quite normal, minus 2.50. But base out for distance and near is quite higher. Okay, now NPC is normal, that is 7 centimeter. Now coming to the amplitude of accommodation. Amplitude of accommodation is 10 diopter in both eyes. So what should be the normative uh, amplitude of accommodation for this thing uh, for a 22-year-old uh, person, 18.5 minus 0 0.3 into 8, 0 0.3 into 22, it comes to be, uh, wait, 0 0.3 into 22, it's 6.6, .6, okay? So 18.5 minus 6.6, .6, it comes to be 11.9. 11.9 diopter should be the accommodation for this patient. So it is coming to be 10 diopter. Okay. Also, if you see, it is a different case basically. Okay. If you see uh, as the NRA PRA value, see NRA is plus 125, PRA is minus 2.5. So basically, the patient cannot relax accommodation. What I feel is that the patient cannot relax accommodation because that's the reason he feels difficulty to clear those plus lenses. So his NRA value should be somewhere around minus 2.5 diopters. See, the amplitude of accommodation is also quite normal. It is 11.9. It should be according to the age match age. So he is having 10. So he is not having too much of over accommodation and all. Almost normal accommodation. Monocular accommodative facility, left eye and right eye, it is 2 cycles per minute. So only two cycles per minute. So with a plus minus one, with a plus minus one flipper, only two cycles you can do 
binocular acromotive facility is two cycles per minute, slow with plus. So what may be the problem? Main problem for the patient is that the patient cannot relax the accommodation. The patient is having not accommodative excess on all, but he is finding difficulty to relax the accommodation. Also, the MEM value, that is the dynamic retinoscopy value, normal lag of accommodation is plus 0.5 to plus 0.75 diopter. He is having a lead of accommodation, you can see, uh, minus 0.25 diopter. MEM value is minus 0.25 diopter, right? So that means there is a lead of accommodation. Lead of accommodation is there. So it may be a case of accommodative excess as well as accommodative infacility. Why accommodative infacility? Plus lens, the patient is having problem to clear. Minus lens, the patient is not having any problem, right? But with the plus lens, the patient is finding difficulty. So monocular slow with plus. So any during my accommodative facility testing, if the patient cannot clear either the plus or the minus lens, so this is termed as accumulative infacility. So accumulative excess with some kind of accumulative infacility. So here what we can do, we can give a accumulative excess is there. So to relax the accommodation, so we can give a we can give a plus lens therapy. Plus lens therapy, we cannot prescribe the plus lens to the patient. Why? Because already the patient is having minus 0.25, minus 0.25 and all. So we will see that if the patient can relax accommodation or not. So we'll give the heart chart exercise to the patient. First, first the patient will find difficulty. Why? Because what was the patient's primary complaint? Patient complaint was occasional blood vision and uh, tiredness of eyes while reading. That means the patient used can accommodate properly, but due to excess accommodation and all, he finds it very tired. So we can give the plus lens therapy to the patient and uh, see and like with the plus lenses on, we'll give the heart chart exercise to the patient. Okay. And see how he performs with the heart chart exercise. First, first, there will be difficulty to do. So with the plus lens, we are going to, this is called a plus lens therapy because we are giving the plus lenses on the trial frame and giving him the heart chart exercise to do, right? And then slowly, slowly we'll give the, and also we'll give the accommodative flippers exercise also. Accommodative flippers exercise also will give him to do. He can tr slowly try with the plus minus one flippers and then he can slowly increase it to plus minus 1.5 flippers and we'll see how he is doing well. So main problem of him is to, like he cannot relax his accommodation. That is his main problem. So we need to do that. So here, if you find it, so he, as is esophoria for near, to prism esophoria for near, so if we are prescribing a plus 0.5 to the patient also, uh, his distance vision will be affected. Definitely, his distance vision will be affected because retinoscopy, there is a minus 0.25 and all. But for near, he will find very comfortable with the plus 0.5 glasses, right? Because he is having two prism esophoria. Two prism esophoria always means need not to be like, uh, always it needs to be corrected. That's not the thing. Only thing is that's to for us is to relax the accommodation so that we can relax the patient's accommodation. That's our goal, basically. Okay. So a 0.5, plus 0.5, you can prescribe also for near work. Also, we need to give in-office therapy to the patient. So with the plus 0.5 lenses, he will do the heart chart exercise and he will do the flippers exercise practice, flippers exercise uh, with those plus lenses. Is it clear to all of you? Any doubt? 